Hi there, and welcome to the upcoming Warface event called Prison Break. This is something completely new for us, so we are counting on your feedback and comments. So listen up and watch, because we already have some bits of a gameplay to show you, and we will wait for you in the comments. And now, enter the Prison Break. The event will be divided into two parts of PvP and PvE. The rules are as simple as possible. You play in one of the modes and get currency. And when you get enough currency, you can open the crate with rewards. The new events section will appear in the updated interface, and guessing by its name, you can guess that the event will be temporary, as well as its position in the navigation panel. We expect that Prison Break will last two weeks. In the menu, you will have two tabs and two modes, respectively. Let's start with PvP, since that's as easy as can be. You will need to participate in team matches on three redesigned maps – Hangar, Dogs and Air Base. The amount of currency obtained in the match will depend on the results of the battle. The better it is, the more currency you will receive. And if you enter an already existing match, you will get less currency for the victory. In this case, the amount will be proportional to the time spent on the map. Now let's turn to the novelty, the PvE event. And I know you guys missed it, and we sure have something to share with you. We have prepared a new location specifically for the event, where you will have a central point, a capsule that you will need to protect. It will become the target of very predictable enemies, with whom you often met in other missions and operations. Enemies will appear in waves, and every wave will be slightly more challenging than the previous one. The duration of each wave will be 15 minutes, and the enemies will use different items to complicate your task. For example, mines, turrets, and even clouds of poisonous gas. And don't worry, there will be many interactive elements on the map which will help you out during the battle. They will definitely come in handy on the last stages. For example, barrels with fuel, traps, boxes with weapon, and friendly turrets. Making progress here is simple. Each wave lasts 15 minutes, and there is infinite number of them. The difficulty is also constantly increasing. And that means that the further you progress, or should I say the longer you last, the more points you'll get. What's up with rewards, you may ask? What's the currency and what do I do with it? Everything is simple. You spend it to open the crates with rewards. You are well acquainted with the mechanics since you already seen it on the web versions of our events. In a special store you can open two boxes, the big one and the standard one. By opening them you will get rewards and also fill out the progress bar. Fill it up to 100% and get the Engineer Weapon, AKS 74 Short. You can also get the Sniper Rifle AT-308 Custom and Unique Sniper Skin. In addition, in the Prison Break event you can get a new weapon series and camouflages, charms, unique achievements and cards for the crafting system. Please note that so far all the novelties are still being tested, and we will tell you more about them later on. Meanwhile. Tell us what you think about the novelties, ask your questions, write your suggestions in the comment box below. This is really important for us. And that's it for me, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.